Some were told the mine only had tremolite, not realizing that tremolite was one of the deadliest forms of asbestos. One miner even remembered feeling completely blindsided when he found that out, saying, we're not geologists, nobody up on that hill knew what tremolite meant. The truth stayed buried for decades, and while the mine finally shut down in the year 1990, the damage had already been done. By the late 1990s, an alarming number of people in Libby were getting sick and local doctors started raising red flags. The town that once prided itself on hard work and natural beauty was now dealing with a full-blown health crisis, and that was just the beginning. As the years went by in Libby, Montana, life seemed to carry on like normal, but behind the quiet mountain town charm, a deadly threat was growing stronger every day. It wasn't just the miners who were breathing in dangerous asbestos dust. It was their families, neighbors, and anyone who lived nearby. As the mining trucks moved back and forth from the hills, a fine powdery dust blew through the streets, coated homes, 